So you want to have some silky smooth styles like Team One Colors and Ski. Well, luckily for you, today I'm here to help you improve your look ahead in the fastest, most efficient way possible. Let's get to it. Oh, and one more thing. If you find this video helpful, leave a like, and if you want to continue to improve your cubing skills, subscribe for future videos. Personally, common tricks like slow turning, while it has improved my look ahead, it has also caused me to sacrifice things like my maximum TPS in the long term. So I found a way to be able to look ahead without compromising other important skills. First, before we start doing anything, you need to make sure you're comfortable with each F12 case, whether they are intuitive or algorithm based. Overall, the concept for this is very simple. You break down your solves into different parts and do each of them blind. A good starting point would be a breakdown like this. Cross plus one F12 pair, solving two more F12 pairs, your final F12 pair plus EO, OLL, and PLL. So you want to take all the time you need to play in your cross plus one, and once you feel confident in your solution, close your eyes and solve it. Then continue to repeat this with the next steps of the breakdown. Eventually, you can time yourself with this process and try and do it as fast as you can successfully. And over time, as you get better, you can lessen the number of steps you take. For example, next you can try cross plus two pairs, your next two F2L plus EO, and then OLL and PLL. This method of improving your look ahead helps with tracking multiple pieces in your head which would apply to real world solving with absolutely zero compromises to other essential speed cubing skills like your TPS. Soon you won't even have to think about the pieces you are solving that you plan during your inspection and instead you're able to focus on finding and tracking pieces for the next steps in a normal solve. But to have an insanely good look ahead like Timon, you need to be able to complete this in three steps. Cross plus two, two F12 players plus OLL and then PLL. So this is my method for improving my look head, which took me from solving in around nine seconds to sub eight seconds. And I still haven't even reached solving it in only three steps. So give this a try and comment your progress and thoughts about this, and I'll be sure to read some of them. See you next time.